You often ask us what do we do when it's raining and we are on tour and uh, we are camping like here. Well, basically we do hope that it's not gonna rain while we're on tour as we usually go only during the summer. So for example, last night the rain started uh, with a strong wind and really strong uh, rain. As you can imagine, a lot of our things got wet. Uh, fortunately, we did put the most important uh, stuff in the tent and uh, yeah, the other bags are waterproof, as you can see. So now we did, uh, the, we, we packed everything, uh, we had breakfast, uh, we waited for a while, we put the tent uh, to dry a bit, that didn't work. And uh, now we packed our wet tent. And uh, hopefully tonight it will be dry so we can take it out and be ready for tomorrow night. We already knew that we were close to the lake Ludas, but we couldn't find a way to access it. We went in circles for a while and then we suddenly found this deck in the middle of the wilderness. <laughs> what are the guys doing? Another lake today, Palic. It is the largest natural lake in Serbia and touristically it's very popular. For us, maybe it's too popular. Here you can find practically anything, so people were just randomly asking us whether we rented our trikes. And also, it's very beautiful, as you can see. It has some gorgeous architecture and beautiful gardens.
We arrived to the final destination for the day. Another beautiful lake, but for some reason not that popular. It does have a beach, some restaurants, a great playground for the kids, taps with drinking water, and a place where you are free to pitch a tent and even build a campfire, which we did. Co ty, Davide, tražiš? Lajke! Mm. The next day was quite uneventful. We did, however, meet a guy who informed us that it's very dangerous to be traveling like this. It was also very hot, so we went as much as possible to reach our destination for the day, another beautiful and green city, Sombor. And there we found our hosts, the first bike-only camping in Serbia. Long tour. We were warmly welcomed and we also met the first cycle tourists on this trip. A couple who has created and is now updating directions and information about the Sultan's Trail. It is a route that you can either hike or cycle from Vienna to Istanbul and then uh, to Jerusalem or Mecca. We shared a watermelon and also had a lot of fun and even made a short interview. What's different about the Stein tracks? Yeah, well, in fact, this is our first food, the strikes. Yes. And, um, uh, so we can only compare it to our bikes, which we had before. Of course. Uh, so compared to a normal bike with uh, this kind of trike, uh, you can enjoy your ride on any terrain. You don't care about any bumps or anything. It's very comfortable. You are sitting and you have no pain in your back or in your sitting area or in your arms, hands. It's not, uh, it's, it's very, it's just very comfortable to ride. Okay. But on the other hand, it's a bit harder for your legs because it, you need some other muscles for it. Mm -hmm. So probably we should have prepared better for it, for the tour. Mm -hmm. But uh, so far it's getting better every day, so yeah. okay. it's, gonna, it's gonna get good. We are doing 40 or 50 kilometers per day because it, uh, it's our limit and it's also the limit for kids. Yeah. Because they can travel 20 Daddy. kilometers after they Daddy. need a rest Daddy. and after Daddy. 20 more and... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, well. Okay. So it's difficult with the children to travel. <laughs> Sometimes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, every day can be a challenge with the kids, but uh, on the other hand, it's also I think it's very, very good for them growing up to have this type of experience to not just to see the country and to see other countries, other cultures, but. 
also just to be in the nature to to see how you can live if you're not in a home and where you have I don't know TV or play video games mm -hmm. they, they find some other types of fun mm -hmm. and uh, also I think it's very nice for them to be with the family to be with the parents and to have mm -hmm. to spend all day with the parents and we can pay more attention to them and to their needs and just have fun all together uh, of course there are some challenges sometimes they get bored in the trailer for example if we ride on some part which is not interesting for them and uh, they just want to get to a playground or <laughs> they just want to eat uh, ice cream or something like that and we are in oh. the middle of nowhere so it can be sometimes challenging yeah. but uh, yeah. but it's also rewarding to, to see them really enjoy in, in some small things every day yeah. and, you know they see some special bird or a flower or something and they are really over excited about it and I think it's very nice for them and for us Did you like our video? If yes, please give us a thumbs up and uh, maybe you can tell us in the comments or ask us a question. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon!